This topic is going to talk about user-defined protocol. Demonstrate how to use user-defined protocol to connect a CO2 sensor. This CO2 sensor correction value range is 70 to minus 70. Change the correction value to hexadecimal. The sensor will change the display value after getting the instruction from HMI. Select link. Choose user defined protocol and manufacturer. Set the communication device parameters. Handling mode. Select an action to handle a communication error. Mode and format. Set the mod and format which want to use. Instruction edit. Set the fixed parameter. Must conform with the communication device setting. This is the send date and checksum. Add control character. Can choose some special character to add to instruction edit dialog. Position. It can set the position of sending data in the sending instruction and set it though start and length. Type. Set the type of writing, including bit, word, double word. Address. Represent the storage address of sending data. The actual input value is the sending data. Byte order. When type is word or double word, can choose big endian or little endian to sort. Return data. The way to set is the same as the send data. Local. Needs to be entered manually in the send instruction. Checksum. The way to calculate checksum. Composite instruction. Combine the calculation result in the origin instruction. The value will show up in result. Driver. Checksum will be automatically calculated and generated by the driver. Select the compile which is in the project. Select simulation and choose online 30 minutes. Set the correction value and change it to hexadecimal. The sensor will change the display value after getting the instruction from HMI. The user-defined protocol is work properly.